What's good, people of Earth? And today, we're looking, taking a look at another Hero Factory brain attack villain. This guy is Bruiser. He is the big, tough stone guy. And he is definitely one of the medium sets. Now, remember what I said before? These figures are pre-built because I've done these before when I was much younger. And I'm 100% sure that I forgot I forgot to shoot a review for this guy because I actually built him over a, a, when I was on vacation and I didn't shoot a review. So, I don't have the bag, I don't have the parts to show you, but you can look at the parts on him. It's a little unfortunate, but we're going to have to make do what we have because I actually threw away the bag, I think. But I have the instruction manual here, and you can see he has a combo with bulk. Make it bulkier bulk. And... We'll just make do with what we have, which is the figure itself. Now, this figure screams in silver and gunmetal gray because that is, that is his overall color scheme. And the first thing I gotta say is when I first looked at this guy, great! He has a bulky stone arm. Perfect for smashing things. What the actual heck is wrong with the other arm? It's so bony, it's so short, it's so skinny, and has a normal hand with a dagger. Just an orange dagger. Like, what the thing is, Lego? Why don't you do the same thing for the guy? Sure, it may cost it, but this arm looks highly, highly unnecessary and it doesn't look that great on him. But if we don't look at that and just look at his, his big stony arm, that actually looks pretty good. And got a lot of stone pieces here. Gunmetal gray body armor piece. Then you got the the gray paw, or yeah paul but that's act, acting as his fist so if you look at like this from this angle okay that's fine but don't look at this side because you just get at a completely exposed technical lift arm and that's another problem lego cover up this piece because if you look at this side then you can see the completely exposed lift arm so that looks kind of disgusting from this side but bruiser does have a play feature and that is the back here, and this is where things get technical. You'll notice how there's a lightsaber peg holding it, and there's a ball joint here. So you just move that, and then his fist will go up and down. So you can do a, a smashing motion. Or you can, yeah, so pretty simple play feature, but a pretty effective play feature. I think this one's better than uh, Pyrox's <laughs> spinning blade. This is definitely a lot better. And yeah, it looks... The play feature is great, it's just the look on the arms are very, very unpleasant, and I don't like it at all. So you'll notice how this arm is connected to your normal torso, but then this one has its own connection point, and instead he, they've used the uh, multi-tool piece here in silver, and they got the spikes to cover it. I think that's a much better body design than your standard chest thing here. So that that's I'm glad they did that, but however... That means you can't move his head to look on the right pretty well. You can look on his left really well, but when you look on the right, oh, that's going to limit a lot. Legs. Unlike Pyrox, I did not lose the special armor piece for this guy. So I have it right here. This is his special number five armor piece. And then on this side, it's a transparent orange with the spikes. And on the bottom, it's just your normal gunmetal gray armor pieces. So that's fine. Gunmetal gray feet, that's also fine. And I think the legs are great, the arms not so much. And finally the head, it's not huge like Pyrox's. Jeez, like Pyrox's was huge. And Frostbeast, once I get Frostbeast, but he's not here yet. But it's not that, it's a reasonable size. And I think that's great. And I really like, he has this like roar going on here. And just the red from the evil brain bug makes him look pretty nice. And we'll take a look at the brain bug in a bit. But you'll notice how... The back is actually isn't that bare because it has the Technic piece here, but this axle piece here is to connect the brain bug tail, so like this. And remember, the brain bug just naturally, the tail naturally folds like that, so that's a little unfortunate. But apart from that, let's actually take a look at the brain bug itself. So this brain bug for Bruiser is orange, just to match his color scheme. And uh, something about I need to say something about Pyrox is that Pyrox is a gray. And the Pyrox is a brown, dark red color scheme, and I guess the yellow brain works fine. 
but this in particular, the orange brain works really well for Bruiser. And even when you take off the brain bug, Bruiser actually looks decent. Not perfect because his, his, it's then open eyes, very hollow without the brain bug. But if you remove the brain bug, I think he, he, looks, he looks fine. He looks fine without it. And not, not the greatest, but it's, it's still decent for a creature. Now here's the brain bug itself. This one's an orange one. And you can see it has a special soft plastic. Its connection point uses an axle right here. So cool brain bug. Cool thing, red eyes, red spikes. It's a cool little thing you can play with, and this thing can be it's a it's a it can be a separate thing, but it will limit mock making. I'll say that. Oh, don't fall over. Okay, so what do I think of Bruiser? Hmm, he definitely has his ups and downs. That's for sure. If you look at him from a distance, he actually looks pretty decent. He looks pretty great, but. If you see his skitty arm and that exposed technical lift arm, then he looks terrible. So he has his curves, and I think this guy gets a 6 out of 10. Actually, no, 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10, yeah, pretty low rating. And because the technical lift arm really, really screws everything up, little more coverage, but I do like the playability. The skinny arm. Ah, Lego, at least, if you're not gonna put the play feature for both arms, at least make this arm more, like, bulkier. I think that'll be fine, but don't make it so skinny like that with, like, an orange dagger. It makes no sense, but that's fine. Brain Bug's really cool, and he looks great without the Brain Bug, actually, as well. So that, that's great, and, yeah, pretty low review, 5 out of 10, but do you agree with me? Is Bruiser a villain worth getting? Well... In my opinion, I don't think there are much better options out there than Bruiser. Uh, I think there's definitely better creatures you can get with, 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 apart from Bruiser. So Bruiser should not be your top priority. Uh, I think he should be one of your like alternate ones if there are no if if you can't find the creature that you like. But yeah, so five out of ten for this guy. And if you agree with me, like. If you disagree, dislike. Then subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you with more. Guys, next up we're gonna do Stormer, my last pre-built brain attack figure, and then we're gonna move on to the unopened new brain attack sets. So that's it for this one. We'll talk to you again in the next one.